All right, part two of speed engineering headers into C5 Corvette. So I'm gonna do a little bit of trickery, custom stuff, and instead of running slip joints, slip fits on my collector extensions off to the mid pipe, we are going to put some Amazon V-bands onto the speed engineering headers. I can't remember exactly what brand these are. I did get them off of Amazon. They fit extremely well onto the headers, like almost interference fit. Ooh. I hope they don't have the beer virus on there. So that's my plan. So to do that, obviously to, I think this might be the left anyways, doesn't matter. Um, anyways, I have to cut the where it's uh, swelled to make the slip connection. I gotta cut that off. This will fit into the uh, V-band setup. Let's see if I can get one of these off here. There we go. So these are machined really nicely so that they actually slip over the collector to a shoulder and they stop. And then also each ring of the V-band is male, female. So it's not just a flat face. They actually in, uh, key into each other, or index, however, whatever word you want to use for that. I don't even remember how much these cost. They were maybe 20 bucks a piece, something like that. They don't have the quick releases on the V-bands or the clamps, but I don't care about that not going to be taking this part very often but I think this is going to be awesome so here's where you guys are going to hate me I'm going to take a page from the boys at uh, McFarland Fabrication and we are going to zippy zappy these on with the MIG welder um, I don't really feel like paying somebody 50 to 100 bucks just to put on two v-bands uh, with a TIG welder I don't know anybody with a TIG welder and uh, with the coronavirus thing going around, it's probably gonna be a while before I could have a shop even get to these. That being said, I've welded up a lot of stainless steel exhaust tubing over the year with standard MIG wire. It's not very pretty, but uh, I've never had any of my exhaust systems break apart. Not saying it couldn't happen in the future, but I've had good luck with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up, get the welder plugged in and uh, have a go at trying to hot glue these bad boys on there and then we'll see how it turned out. All right, we just got done welding up the second flange. That's what it looks like, uh, not cleaned up at all. Like I said, this is not ideal. This is how it should not be done, but it's how I chose to do it for just to get the job done. I only blew two holes in it. Here's the first one that I did. I took it apart already. But the flange be on there, and I don't see any bad uh, spots where it's going to leak or anything like that. Pretty flat still. Just a tiny little bit of warpage in there which from what I've gathered over my time on the interwebs that's not all that uncommon and it's almost impossible to not get them warped especially when you're doing hacktastic stuff like this but when I do the finish assembly see you can see how it's got the male lip sticking out of there and this is machine to accept it so they're together I'll probably just put smear just the tiniest amount of red RTV in here when I go to put the clamp back on it. I'm still going to like this a lot better than the big stretchy stainless clamps or the really crappy single clamps that come with the kit. So it's time to put these in the car and uh, get the mid pipe done and get on with this project. So thanks for uh, tuning in to see how not to put V-band flanges on. Oh, big thanks to uh, Cleus McFarland too.